yeah, what, what, what's happened in terms of you know trying to put something concrete on the ground, which is which is going to to, uh, to move these uh, move this in the right direction. Um, the um, the report had eight recommendations in it, and um, um, those eight recommendations we have taken back out to industry for um, consultation. Um, we've had submissions on those eight recommendations from both uh, master builders, the CFMU, the Plumbers Union, the Master Plumbers Association, and so on, uh, apprenticeship groups, and and um, and so on. And we're now pulling that together into what we consider to be an action plan and then go back to industry and say, who's actually going to do what? Um, this is not a make to construction um, problem or uh, we think that we have part of the solution. We think we have something we can add the, to the industry. But some of these things are structural. Some of these things are actually we need to, we need to work out. How come that this has been allowed to happen without us dealing with it? Um, when we look at apprentices, they, uh, we have a really good system of, of regulation. They're, they're actually very widely regulated. They, they, there's, a, you know, there's a QBCC that, 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 that looks at the contracting environment and, and that, that they're employed under, that there's actually adequate, adequately trained supervisors for them. We have the Department of Training. We have Fair Work Australia. We have Workers' Compens uh, Work Cover. Uh, we have the um, Training Ombudsman. So there's a lot of regulations around this and, and people are represented by unions and employer associations. But despite all of this, we have 30% of apprentices that have this outcome. Um, is that what we accept? Is that a, is that a well-functioning system? Or is it, a, is it a system failure that we need, to, we need to have a look at and we need to exit? So we're saying there needs to be a systems review. There also need to be some, some, some cultural review. We need, we need to go out uh, and to be frank, um, Michael, when, when we went back three or four or five years, women in the film industry and entertainment industry considered that sexual harassment was a natural part of having a career in the industry. And you were up against powerful men. And if you spoke up against it, you would lose your career. This is actually where we are with apprentices at the moment. Apprentices are exposed to bullying in a lot of cases, and they're telling us that they feel powerless in dealing with it. What happened in the entertainment industry was some brave women started speaking out. Now, they could have continued speaking up unless somebody was listening, uh, nothing changed. But actually, when people within the industry started listening, we started having the change and we started having a cultural change. I don't think that is beyond us in the construction industry. I actually think that if we have a cultural piece to talk to us as workers and as apprentices, apprentices will start speaking up and it's our role as an industry to hear them and to believe them.